beautiful morning, no wind, nice, nice warm weather. Um, we're just getting started, first day of the hunt. Um, very excited for the guys that came. We're gonna get out, uh, it's about 7 a.m. and go out and see what uh, the fir first animals are. Um, normally the kudu are early morning, you'll see them walking out and um, we'll, we'll drive to the game camp and go to a couple sighting spots where we'll walk and stalk the animals and see see what we can find and what the uh, what the land provides us um, and then after that during the day we'll see see what we can find there's a lot of different species that, that can present itself but it is in nature so it's a hunt and we're gonna try and get what we can today so what's the plan here okay so we drove to on top of the mountain here where we can have a nice side park there's a couple of these for tourists uh, where the animals like to come grass growing there so it's a nice area for impala and um, fallow there it's a nice big 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 fallow there so we're going to walk this walk and um, hopefully we see something Blacker. sitting up here on a cliff uh, a little bit earlier we saw uh, i spotted a female kudu got down got the bipods out and was getting ready for her and a massive male came out um unfortunately didn't give us an opportunity to take it um started running so we walked our way along the side of this kind of like cliff face and now we set up hopefully they're gonna come get flushed off this side and we'll get an opportunity so we'll wait and we'll see what happens but oh, it's beautiful out here part of the eland they must be just down here i'm guessing about 300 meters but we have this nice cliff here so we can walk and stalk and try and crawl keep it, see how close we can get see if we can get a nice shot To, it's about 280 meters. Yeah, when you're ready. There she's standing nicely. Let's see if you can take the shot. Okay, I'm ready. Go for it.
Oof. Got her. In hey. fact. Got her well done, man. Oh. That's a big animal, eh? So how are we gonna carry this thing out? Sure. Sure, couldn't have gotten a better position. It's about 280 meters out. Um, got a dead rest with the STG chassis. chassis. Um, yeah, I couldn't have asked for more. Perfect shot. Yeah, and it couldn't have gone more than 25, 30 meters. So, very, very happy, very stoked. So, the bullet didn't make it all the way through. 6.5 Piedmont, you can actually see it sitting right there. So it's quite late, dark as you can see. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to leave um, the Irland Chow for the night. It's very cold, so the meat should be all good. So what are we doing here? I'm just taking a jackal and leaving it on the animal. So okay. leave the human scent for the, for the jackal. Yeah. So they would stay away. And uh, next morning, tomorrow morning, we can come back. Hopefully, she's still fine. I really hope so. <laughs> no, it will be fine. Thank you. Thank you. It's going be nice so and cold good, tonight. Yeah. Everything should cool down. Yeah. So it's the next morning, um, we came back for the Elan, uh, it's got a, got a little bit stiff overnight, but now we're getting the carrying sticks, um, so we can carry it to the Baki, the Baki is about 500 meters away, um, through the Kloof, the valley, um, so we'll see how we get it on the Baki to save the meat. There we go. There we go. She's in. Well done, guys. Liver and hot. Good. Mm. No way. Mm. Mm. I thought it good, yeah? Mm. 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 So it's good though. Too good. Yeah.